All week long, Abby and I have had a need for speed, and we're ending the week with jets. So yesterday we had a jet that broke 100 miles an hour, the Viper, and it was awesome. If you wanna check that out, you absolutely should, but after you watch this video. Now I have a guess as to which one I think is actually gonna be faster, and I'll tell you which one I think that is before takeoff. But today we're flying the E-Flight F-16 Thunderbirds. This thing just looks like a rocket with some small wings. You haven't added any stickers I yet. I know, when I got out of the car I thought, oh, everybody's gonna say, where are the stickers, Nate? I totally forgot he my stars. He has these star stickers that he said every flight he's gonna put one on. So you need to put two because you put two batteries yes. here. This will be three. That's right. So hopefully we earn another star today if we land successfully. Now it's quite windy, but I am gonna be flying with safe on. And that is because I do not want to cheat the system and get any deep dives to pick up speed. We wanna see how fast this jet is on its own. Uh, we had wind in all the other videos, Everybody gets wind, so of course that's going to affect the results a little bit. But if you're a person that lives in an area with no wind, you better not comment below because everyone's going to hate you. We all have to deal with wind. So, how fast do you guys think this jet will be? Is it going to break 100 miles an hour like the Viper? They both fly on 6S power. Now the one thing I'm going to do to help this jet to its benefit is take off my rockets. These are going to cause some drag. And again, I'll tell you which one I think is gonna be faster. So I just I just wanna help this guy out a little bit. <laughs> I love that those come off so. So you don't think this one's gonna be faster? Well, say it? yeah, we'll say it. I do think the Viper is gonna be the faster jet. I think this one is a bit more of a performance jet. That's just my opinion on my short experience with these both so far after maidening them and just having a little bit of stick time. Uh, anyway, I think the wind is gonna help us get in the air very quickly, uh, shorter takeoff and a shorter landing, and that's awesome. And stick around to the end of the video and we'll see if I can grease the landings as good as I did on the maiden flight. Who I love this jet. It'll be linked in the description box below if you wanna pick it up for yourself or just check it out. And if you do pick one up, I highly recommend you get the batteries that we have linked down there too. Let's fly this. A little nervous, It's uh, it was supposed to be not quite as windy today as yesterday, but it's windier, so let's uh, get this in the air. Oh my goodness. There goes your nose cone. <laughs> we'll All right, he's taking off from there because it's so windy, he's having to take off from an angle. Oh my gosh, I'm a little scared for my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was a little scary. Just a little bit. A little bit petrified. He's in the air though. He's walking back here. I wonder if he has a landing. Whoa, what is he doing? He's crazy. I don't know if the landing gear is up yet or not. I can't see it. I think it's up. Landing gear up? Did you get the landing gear up? Yeah, landing gear's up. Woo! I had to commit to that, didn't I? Yeah. I okay. was, we were a little scared. Well, now that we're in the air, it's flying great. I know the sun's there, but I'm gonna crank past us really fast here. I don't know, now that this is in the air, and having freshly flown the Viper, it could win. Let's do it. Oh yeah! That ain't slow, that's for sure. No, it's not <laughs> slow. Woo, every time I fly this, it is fun. An adrenaline rush every single time. Wow, here we go. Oh, look at it rocking in the wind. Landing is gonna be interesting today. So this is with the wind on this pass. Here we go, let's crank that speed. A little bit faster that way. The wind Actually, is coming at an angle. It's a cross so it's, breeze. Yeah, it's not really so, helping it. Yeah. If anything, we're hurting it every single time. Let's do a few more passes just because it's in the air and it's fun, and I am afraid to land it. <laughs> I want you guys just to see how fast this thing is as we just kind of cruise around. Oh, isn't that amazing when I do a pass like that? Yeah. Just a circle. This thing, I think it feels to me like it turns tighter than the Viper, and I think we're gonna be able to do some borderline hairier stuff on a calm day. That's what I wanna do next. 
I know, I'm just, I'm not doing necessarily straight passes now. I feel like since we already got two or three good passes in on a full charge, we can just have a little bit of fun. We're in the air. I am not just gonna land this thing that fast. <laughs> and we're climbing, three, two, one, up. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna come down easy because I don't want to, I, I basically zero throttled it. I don't want that descending to be registered as a, as a speed pass. So Abby and I have a theory. If you guys watched our Valiant speed test, let's just do a slower pass. If you watched our Valiant speed test, it was no faster for having done the dive. Although Abby and I felt like visually it was much faster. Um, we think that the GPS meter that's in this jet right now is unable to register vertical. Yeah, I mean, technically it's a GPS meter, so isn't it like measuring? Just horizontal, horizontal speed. speed. Yeah, Here we that's go. what, that's Full our throttle theory. throttle speed pass. Here it is. Boy, you can just see it rocking. I am going, I'm at a three minute flight and we can easily get five to six minutes out of this. But because I'm a little nervous, I mean, look at the, the way the wind is pushing me around. I want to save some juice I'll, uh, for, for a smooth landing because I don't think I'm going to fly my second pack today that I brought. It's really windy. <laughs> the jet's fully capable. Um, I'm just afraid of a gust hitting it on a landing and knocking it down hard. Landing gear down. And I'm just going to cruise around and <laughs> it's, the landing should be interesting and then seeing if First of all, did we even break 100 miles an hour? I th I'd say yes. I'd say yes. Did we beat the Viper? I'm not I sure. don't know. I don't know. So, going to be really interesting. Let's get this on the ground first, safely. This is the. Mo I'm nervous. Here we go. Zero throttle. The wind's just. Okay, I'm a little close. too fast. Oh, and the wind just died down yeah, for that I landing. I was a you should have committed. Fast, though, so, I need to hit that again. And I just didn't feel good about that. It was like the wind perfectly stopped. I know it. And I think right I was there. coming in with speed, thinking that I'd have that headwind. So, you know, if don't ever commit to a landing if you don't feel good about it. Mm -hmm. And watch me just wreck on this one. I'll feel good about it, but it'll be horrible. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. your magnetic nose cone <laughs> fell off. That's okay. <laughs> I'm going to walk out there and just taxi it in by hand because of this gusty wind. And uh, let's see how fast it went. Really quickly, if you're new to the idea of jets, you've never been exposed to RC planes really, you're just here to see how fast it goes. This is held on with magnets and it breaks off on purpose for obvious reasons. Twice that happened. So, you know, if you have a rough landing, it's much better that this fall off with a magnet than it is to actually break off. Nothing is damaged there at all. So, just wanted to point that out. So, moment of truth here, I'm excited. <laughs> What do you think? Which was faster? Well, your reaction, I'm going to say this is faster. 168. Oh, so the Viper's the faster. The Viper is faster. We got 176, right? Yes. Now, uh, let's see. Hold on. Hold that up. They didn't uh, okay, really get okay. to see it. Cool. 168. Yeah. 168. Now, I don't, we don't generally hit this high of speed, so I need to look it up really fast. Did we break 100 miles an hour? I think yes. 104.39. So it's only like four Ooh. and a half miles slower than the Viper. Three and a half, yeah. Now four I will. And a half, three and a half, whatever. I will say this. Today with the wind, the wind is hitting us at this direction. So when we were going from right to left, it did have a little boost of the wind. I did my very best when I flew the Viper to not give it any advantage at all. So I think that the Thunderbirds had a wind speed advantage. And the Viper did not. So on a calm day, I believe it's about a 10 mile an hour Look difference. Hair. It's crazy. Look at that hair. I couldn't even wear a hat today. <laughs> so it's windy. How often do you guys see us fly any RC planes in this hair. much wind? I can't even, I'm having troubles breathing because the wind is just. Where's your jacket? That's what I want to know. It's not that cold. I don't think it's I that think cold. It's cold. I have so a winter jacket on. Today is probably the last warm ish day of, uh, of 2019. But boy, that wind is getting cold and strong. You should uh, style your hair like that more often. We now have two jets on the channel that have officially broke 100 miles an hour. And the crazy thing is, they're ridiculously easy to fly. I was not worried about it once it got in the air. The only scary thing is, <sighs> take off and landing. Just the ground is the only scary thing. <laughs> These things fly so well. I can't breathe. I can't I get breathe. pushed around. Okay, <laughs> for safety's sake, we need to 
to wrap up so my jet doesn't blow away. But wow, that was fun. What a cool speed week. Now, as crazy and exciting and fun as speed week has been, I cannot wait to show you guys what's coming to the channel next week. You're oh. gonna love it. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless you're just strictly a plane person. Well, if you're a plane person, you'll you should still, still love it. You'll still appreciate what's coming to the channel. So, having said that, there's your hint. It is not planes next week, but probably the coolest ground vehicles ever to hit the channel. Having said that, we're gonna need some Patreon support. So, if you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us because we need you guys. It's been a nasty week, we'll just say that. Okay, all the good stuff will be linked in the description box below. Our highly recommended transmitter and battery combo to be paired with this. And uh, wow, just what a cool way to end Speed Week. First time we've ever done that on the RC Sailors and I hope to do more of that in the future. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!